Hello everyone, how is all day? And for that sit down, have a coffee with us outside. Eh, uh, aye, a bit of coffee, and have a chat, see what's happening. But yeah, I've been there, uh, I've been out and about this year. And for those of you who want to know where I'm walking about in my location, I'm in a secret location at the moment. I used to come here when I was a bairn. Aye. Used to call it, we used to call it crackling jungle. Because there was loads of tar and everything all over the place. It's all bloody a thicket now down all over here, land. So there we can. Aye. But I've been about. So there's not been much happening, like, I've got to see it. Apart from, like, YouTube, I've been watching all this stuff about Diddy Combs. Ye, my life. One minute. Just pour this milk out. I think I'll have a drink of that. Check myself out as well. You know, I've had a few things going on for us the last few days. Bit of upset and that, but it's work here now. Yeah. So I've been chilled out, thought I'd have a coffee. I went to the shop and I bought this stuff, yeah, right? You can't even seal the bag. What's going on? I can't reseal the bag. What an absolute liberty. Right. Hello everyone, I'm in the tune. I thought this would be a good place to start. That's the new that's the Newcastle City badge. Aye, it's a belt, isn't it? It's a belt. Aye. aye. Well this. It's outside probation, Newcastle probation. Been doing all right. I hope everyone's been doing good. I'm in the town. I'm in the tomb. I'm gonna have a walk through. I've had a quick chat about a few things. Uh, walk through with the key and all that. Well, the part of the key that I like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll have a look through that way. Scotty G was kind of still where the council said that Scotty G was kind of should sleep, right? Uh, where that is and all that, show you where that is and where he would be sleeping uh, if he was going to sit this morning at the time. But, ah, but I'm not going to fill him any homeless out like that. I can't be bothered with any of that. Uh, I'm not in a position to help them, you see. I can sit and talk to them and all that. You know, maybe he's giving them a bit, maybe he's giving them a sandwich and have a coffee with them and what have you and all that. But, I'm in need position to help them out properly, so I will film them. However, there is one or one or two people who do film them and all that. One, I think he's a right, he's, well, you know, I'm talking about him later. But Billy Moore, he can do and he films him and all that. And I think, it, I think it's off the back of these other, this other one. I forget his name, Charlie. Scottish Charlie. Ah, oh, he's terrible. <coughs> but I think Billy Moore tries to show people that these are human beings whereas Charlie dehumanizes them so we'll see what happens oh I'm not filming <laughs> somebody weird at this I thought I was filming them waving at us well any case right let's get back to it I Charlie dehumanizes them so we'll talk a little bit about that later on Anyways, I'm outside Newcastle Probation. I thought it would be the best place to start. I'll get myself down on the Clayton Street, walk up Clayton Street, past the clock, in the corner, up to the monument and up, up Northumberland Street. See what it's like. Uh, I feel a bit large, I've got a camera, I can't tell you the truth. Like, 
see what people are seeing on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, Alright, so I'll get back to you soon. Hello everyone, for and walk up the Clayton Street, well yeah. Good place. Good place in the tune. Aye. And that's Jimmy Savile for some He's reason. He doesn't move very much either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aye. Aye, it's kind of busy this afternoon. They need sat, they need proper busy. See what's happening in the tune. But ah, there's plenty of people about. Walking through with a camera and all, I talking to myself, talking to the camera, I feel like a bit of a lunatic. But I thought I'd do it in any case. See what it's like. You know, see if any any of the homeless come up and start attacking us and all that. Now nah, I like to do that Charlie kid. For some reason I don't think they will though. You know, and I'm not pointing the camera at them and not take the piss out of them. Calling them crackheads and all that. Never mind though. <sighs> People not bananas and that funny enough. Think I'm a lunatic. I am in loads of ways as well, I suppose. <laughs> To show you. Aye. Granger Street. There's the monument at the top. Grey's monument. Earl Grey at sea, is that right? Is that where the Earl Grey at sea comes from? Castle's first Prime Minister, I think. Could be wrong. I'll have to have a look. We'll have to have a read when we're going up. All right. <laughs> I'm good, all right. <laughs> hey, let's get across this road. Walk up the Clayton Street. Bit of jail walking. Get Nick in the minute, what do you know? Aye. Yes. But no. It's a canny walk on the tune. I love the tune because it's never really changed. It smells the same. Ah, there's a few people, different people about them, different cultures and all that, but that's all right. Still loads of uh, bridge yarn on that lake, you know what I mean? So it's cut. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, that's people shooting at us. So I've had a few oggy oggy oggies from the Welsh eh? So what happened to the camera there? So this is Clayton Street. Aye, I'll give you a look. There we go. Aye, Elden Square at the top there. the infamous clock. Aye, lunatic's gone in there. 
Ah, uh, we went to shut the Benwell Bar doing in the West End. The all star drinking doing yeah, didn't they? Clayton Street. This is Clayton Street. There's the corner here. Put all the chairs away outside. People sit and smoke. That's the corner there. That corner. Good pub. Good people drinking there. All the old Ben were locked now. The clock gets too fucking crap. Too many ratchets. But we'll walk up to Elden Gardens, eh? Then do, do, eh? Hey! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, yes! See friendly faces, man. Good being multicultural. That's friendly, that man. Right. Normally there's homeless people here sat there drinking. You probably find the homeless up here. See what happens. Funny looks. Think I'm a lunatic? Yes, fellas. It's all right. Good. A few homeless just passed us there. So this is Elden Gardens, folks. I'll spin the camera around. Yes, people. Been getting some funny looks walking on with this camera. Like, gotta see, it's kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. Much prefer uh, doing this somewhere else. Especially with my social awkwardness and social anxieties and stuff like that. Everything else, I just plod along in it. Kind of let them things like stop you. Doing stuff you want to do. So, we're going to do it there. The monument. Yes. I saw Charlie, Scottish Charlie, who lives in Manchester and has thousands and thousands of subscribers watching him take the piss out the homeless, bully the homeless, picking on the vulnerable. Like them people haven't got enough problems to start with. Look, Raji's got none, they not to them. But, you know, I'm sure Charlie's all right. He just sees it from a different point of view than what I do and other people do, you know? So, if you want to come up to Newcastle, Charlie, and have a wander around and, <coughs> and what have you, not, I'll meet up with you and we can have a debate and a bit crack if you want. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. Aye. So what does it say on here? Give us a look. After a century of civil peace, the people renew their gratitude, gratitude 
to the OFAC of the Great Reform Bill, 1932. Right, well, what else does it see here? Is this Greer's Monument, by the way, if it works. Let's have a look. Ah, right. We've got more right in here. Let's see if I can read it. This column was erected in 1830, 1838, to accommodate the services rendered to his country. Charles Earl Grey, KJ, who during his active political career of nearly half a century was the constant advocate of peace and the fearless and const constant champion of civil and religious liberty. His first directed, he first directed his efforts to the amendment of the Declaration of the People in 1792 and was the minister by whose advice and under whose guidance the great measure of parliament reform was after um, on the audacious old Akatia and protracted struggle safely and triumphantly achieved in the year 1832. Can he? Can he, eh? So, there we go. That's Earl Grey Monument. Oh, Deeks. He got loads of PS, PES security here. Yeah. What's going on? Some are happening. Some are going down in the town tonight in the tomb. We've got police. However, then let's have a walk up North England Street in any case. Thing on the side of my head. Yes. Oh, <laughs> nearly got one of our viables. is for me. <laughs> ah, the tomb's not that big, like. There's normally loads of homeless on the North Humberland Street, so we'll have a walk up in any case. There we're gone. Oh. It's too cramped, I'm not getting up there. Toe cramped. Let's have a walk down Dean Street and all that. We'll walk down to this place where the council toured to Scotty J to go and uh, live. Check that place out. See what's happening. Yes, this is Dean Street. This is where the tour of Scotty J to come. Oh, it's packed tonight. Proper packed. Right, I'll bring you back when 
I get there. Ah, oh, well, here, are, folks. This is it. This is where the tour, the tour of Scotland again. See, also, it looks like there's some people already there. So we'll see now. Some we are doing there. Some we are doing there. <laughs> so I'll go into this tunnel. This one looks alright. Have a dig. Not a very nice place to live, I see, like. Someone's left that train, has there. Somebody homeless. Suppose you could go up there, like. Climb over that fence. Cause it eek. Oh, look at all the rat holes. Oh, the rats all over. Okay, I'm getting away from here. Fuck that. Oh, there's thousands of rats. This is where they wanted them to stay. Loads of rat holes. Let's have a walk up these stairs. Ah. I couldn't live, I couldn't sleep through the yard with the rats like. Anyway, there's much better places in the tomb to sleep than there. <coughs> there's the rats, there's rats all over. I can see the little kids. Oh, God. The place is flipping infested with rats. Bloody hell. Anyway, this is not a good place. See, there's just rats all over. No, that's why there's no homeless down here. They're not stupid enough to sleep with the rats. Well, let's go and follow one down. Aye, so there you have it. Right, as far as I'm concerned, right, flipping hell, man. You kind of you toss, don't you? Not even if you're homeless. 
not even if you're homeless. You see, on the other hand, what the homeless do try and do is they try and break into the big buildings, run ya. Just took her free. Uh, now they've got, got into you know. And uh, were you able to stay there for a while and what have you not until now? I mean, the police used to turn up sometimes because there was loads of, loads of stuff going on and the, the, that's what ends up happening, you know. They'll get a, a few homeless, they'll get into the building, right, then they'll, they'll camp there for a little bit, then they'll show other homeless people and then other homeless people will show them and before you're not, it's, it's knocked. Aye. But these buildings, like, yeah, these are the ones, there's no one in them, living above them, man. That place there, the homeless were living in that blue bar there. They drank all the beer in there and everything they did. <laughs> Hiya! See, the Jolly people are nice. Listen, I've never walked up these stairs before, so I'm gonna come walk up them. Bring you back. I've never walked up these stairs before. As you can see, for good reason. So I'm gonna give it a go. Yeah, we'll go. Right. So, oh, I'm not too out of breath there. But this is more like it for the homeless. Away from the rats. This is probably where they're all about, you know. Not doing there. Let's carry on walking in any case. Quite a historic place to be, this, you know. I'm out of breath. This is the castle keep. New castle keep. New castle keep. Aye. Oh, this is the medieval church. People are buried there. So this is where they come and told Scotty J to, to sleep. Much better than for doing there, like, gotta see what all the rats are. But yeah, we go. There's people. Some history in Newcastle, isn't there? I'll take you out, aye, that's the castle keep. That's why Newcastle's called Newcastle. Because of that castle there, eh? or what's left, that's a castle keep, I believe. But I'll take you out there, eh? this place over here, and what this place is here. Aye. Yes, people, this is Muntal. 
This used to be a crown court, the Marvard still is, mind you. Aye. Look at it. Hundred years old, that. That crown court, that court. You take you in there, right? You chaw a loaf of bread or something. You then up in there, right? Put your sentence shit there. Gone to Australia, banished from the Britain to Australia. Take you straight down the stairs and on, on the key, on the on the airport, straight to Australia. Yes, this is a. a I'm not sure if there's still day court cases, yeah, but I've uh, I've been up the court, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's only one of the most serious offences. That you come here now. Or you used to when I was. But then I went along the road to the Crown Court. Up there, yeah, but doing stairs. Aye, but uh, doing in the, in, the, in the dungeons, and they really are dungeons in here, you know. They really, really are. You know. Uh, it's a mad one, I've got to tell you the truth. I still got the. The iron shackle things, like the shackles you do, the wall, the iron circle things. Oh, yeah, I didn't like it in there, like. Mm. Wasn't nice at all. But yes, this is moved on. There's some beautiful architecture, aren't ya? Mm -hmm. I'll show you, I'll show you the castle. Not in the very best of light. Yes, that's why Newcastle's called Newcastle, innit, fellas? Innit, folks? Just to let everybody know who's not from Newcastle, who might be watching. So I'm gonna walk through none of the keys, eh? Been on a hell of a mission, the dear. I need to sit down somewhere. Yes, sit down somewhere where I can meet myself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. But my lungs are much, much better. I'm not getting out of breath like I was and all that all the time. So my lungs are getting much, much better. Fast improvements. When we breathing. And I only get better. Right. Oh, I think there's loads of. Ah, oh, look, there's, there's loads of young ones and that, don't you? I don't want to really. Let's have a dig, see what it's like. So mad how little, little uh, walkways run, yeah. It really is. But there's one flight of stairs that are absolutely lovely. Let's have a little look up here. Ah, you see, you can sit down yarn, have a joint. Sit down yarn, have a smoke, you can. I think I will. I think this is where I'll make me a cup of coffee. I'll get back with you. I'll just show you. Yes. That's where Panda done his interview with Steve Rief. Bless Panda. God bless him. So I'm gonna sit on that wall, make a coffee, and then have someone to eat. Yes, it's getting dark, folks. Just had me cup of coffee there, packed up. It's getting dark. So, just all heading back. Ah, it's a dead creepy run, Jay, you know, honestly. There's loads of people around. Oh, yeah, we're gone. 
Ahí por ti, ya. Lo vemos. Me instalo en esa cosa con la cámara, no puedo hacer. Just not filming me, you know what I mean? Just young ones, good lads, man. What's up, mate? Oh, from a YouTube channel? <laughs> I want you, I'm recording now. It's alright. So just hang on, Charlie, and just mess about. My channel's called Cookies True Crime Adventures. What's it called? Cookies True Crime Adventures. Alright. It's in the cookies I eat. True crime adventures. True crime adventures. Ah. Uh, ah. What do you like? What? What do you do like? I talk about crime. I've done a lot of jail myself. You see, uh, spent a long time in jail. I've done a life. I've uh, done a life sentence. Done a life sentence. Done 20, 22 years in the jail. Eh. Uh, aye. So I talk about my experience uh, going through the prison system and the, I've been to loads of jails. Durham Jail. Oh, aye. Aye, it was on the heat, I'm telling you. Oh, oh. Gone in there. Because I was a lunatic when I was your age, you see. I was all kinds of skullduggery. Honestly. <laughs> I've got your faces properly in the eye, you know what I mean? It's just... Aye. Yeah, listen. Well, that's right. Well, if you if you just somebody comes up and but you can't bang somebody when they reason, and they hit the heat on the floor, up the concrete floor. There's loads of lifers in there that that's happened to. Aye. Oh, no. Yeah, he's stoned. Bit of weed. Oh. Couple of buckets in there. <laughs> so what just do, charge just Where are you from, like? Washington. Washington. Over the water. Where? Washington. Oh. Washington. So it's over the water up that way. Oh, oh, oh that way. That's what's over there again? <laughs> Felling. Felling. Getting mixed up me. Aye, well listen, it's nice talking to you, it's right? Uh, look my channel up, there's some mental stuff on it, honestly. Cookies, True Crime Adventures. Right? You'll get it. That's right, he knows. Listen, keep yourself safe, lads. Cookies, True Crime Adventures. Keep yourself safe. So there we're going. Youngins. Aye. Aye, so there we go. <coughs> you meet all kinds of people doing here. All kinds. And eh. Uh, it depends at what time of the day, I suppose, you come down, you know? So, if you're walking around here at 3 o'clock in the morning and all that, you probably see the homeless. Ah, these are naughty stairs as well. Let's get up these stairs. Because I've decided I'm going to stay out. And I'm going to take a walk up the West End. So I'm not walking down to the Quayside. So I'm out of the stairs in. Here he is. That was a warehouse, that. That 
bird in there. I remember burgling that when I was young and scalped it. Had a deed for like three days. Used to have a loads of lorries parked out here. We just fill up a big huge lorry. We just like it was like batteries, household stuff and all that, you know. Uh, but we got loads of it. We spent three days there, uh, back and forth. You should have seen Davy driving that big truck. Bloody hell, all them, them big gear sticks and everything. It's a big, huge truck. Never drove one in his life, jumped straight in it. It was crazy Davy back then. Aye. I was a bit shant to them young ones before. <coughs> the canny and all that. So we might as well take a walk along the central station and then up through Rye Hill, through Welswick, into the heart of the West End. Hello folks. Yes, I've got the old hat on. I've done my first ever pod, my first ever YouTube video with this hat on. I love this hat. Had it for years. But yeah, I thought I'll get a bit more footage as I'm walking about. Just so there's plenty. Well, I've been thinking about the blot, you see. And I'm thinking the blot. Night is at least Delph Camp, so I'll have a place in that. Right? And I said on my last video, or one of my videos, that I should be a bit more daring. Right? I've got the perfect place for him to go. But it's... I, do, I think he'll get caught. I think the security will shift him on. But... You know... Eh... Uh, I could do one. Right? The business park in Newcastle Business Park on Scotchwood Road. That's where... The block needs the day one. That's where you should day one. Getting in and out of there, if you can get in and get settled, you cush. And you're on the most historic part, one of the most historic parts in Newcastle. Right where, because that's where, if you can't on the business park, that's where Armstrong Vickers and all that was. Where they built all the tanks and stuff like that and uh, fitted out all the boats that the Sunderland lads uh, built, sent them down the way. We kept them up all the Aye. But yeah, that's where Blot should go. Yes. I wish Ben was there. Your castle business park on Scotchwood Road. There's loads of thicket when you have a good recce. You know, but them kinds of places, I think, aye, you get your pitch with a tent and all that, but uh, a hammock would be better. <laughs> but yeah, folks, I've had fun with you, to be honest with you. Uh, Thursday and Friday, I got triggered and uh, had to deal with quite a few feelings. So the like sent me state of mind a bit south. All right mate. All right mate. See that's the homeless, I don't want to stop. Like I see, I got triggered. 
and it's sort of like all that we uh, stayed of mind a little about how I was feeling about myself because it was quite like powerful but you know throughout the, all of the, the, the dark feelings and that and thoughts I kept on talking to myself in a positive way fuck it stinks from ya Yes, heading up to the second station. What stinks? Aye. Aye, so anyways, I feel a lot better. Because I forced myself to come out, have a little walk about with the camera and that. Aye. Not really talking about much and stuff and that, but. It's just the shoes and I'm moving the boot a bit, you know? Uh, and I'm like, wanting to chill with you guys on YouTube. But I do appreciate all the positive comments and stuff and that, like, i got to say. To uh, anybody interested in my location and stuff and that, I suppose you're in no doubt the way I'm walking, you know, which is all right. Right now I'll stand by you. Yeah. No, so am I. Yes, no. I couldn't. I'm heading into the central station now. Gizzardique. Aye. But yeah, I don't know. I walk through the West End and make two galleys. Bring some memories back. And I talk about some stuff. Like just walking past that building, me. Eh? Just three galleys. I remember. And that was the first time I ever seen gear people as well when I was grafting down there that, that time. I got a shock in my life. Suddenly I was just surrounded by gears. <laughs> Aye. Telling us not to can up there because uh, there's loads of uh, straight to our cannon back, straight to our gear bashing. Aye. I must have been about 17 years old then. 16, 17. Aye. And I was scalping buildings like that. No, but my pal put that on the way. Aye. He was a belting grafter. I'm not mentioning his name, who we'll, we'll put that on, who we'll put that graft on the way. But, eh, uh, no, but he's got a few quid. He's done well, really wide. He'd be shocked, because you've all heard the name. Aye. But, yeah, we're walking out of the town, up past the centre of life, back up to St James's Boulevard, where, like, like me home, really, you know what I mean? So you could see, like, you know, Newcastle Probation Office. I did miss Simon. Simon was hard. Catherine was the best. Simon, well, Simon was a close. Ah, uh, he was, he was hard, he He was crusty. Catherine was the best, she got his route. Aye. See, to all this, I had to stop thinking that I was public enemy number one. And then I'm not like that. I knew that in any case. But yeah. I 
I would have had a few good beers, you know, for us. And it's it's hard work with probation, you see. Because when the shit hits a fan in any kind of way, people like me are just as you know. As you seen I went to prison for twelve months. And that was lucky. That was very lucky. But I've got to see it, I don't know. It's just as well, isn't it? Because I wouldn't want to uh, be in there, like... I would have I would have been much more adjusted now. I'd have been in, like, two years now. Two years next month. Aye. Yeah, I would have been in a better place in my head and on top of everything. Because it takes me a while to settle down when I'm in the jail. It's like a big, even though I've done all them years in the jail, it's like a big shock to the system when you're going back in. You kind of just pick up where you left off. No, I suppose if you're in and out every few months, then it's no bother. But when it's... But, uh, then it's less, less adjusting going on. But when you're being for a mate like me, well, that long, and then went back in, honestly, it was... It felt truly destroying, but I got through it. I got through it. You did, didn't you? You cannot let the, you cannot let bad situations, you know, uh, like let your environment, your bad environment, pull you down. You just cannot. You can only let that shit uh, go on for a while. But what it is is the when you start getting used to being in the jail, right? It's just to the large extent, right? You 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 psychologically blocking out the environment around you. Right, and you stop thinking totally about being outside. That's what you do. Yeah, we're back outside Newcastle Probation. You can't see the badge. But I... So which way am I going in? Right. We're going to graft as we Right. We're going where the graft has gone. Right. I like it, Dunya. It's all right. <laughs> Didn't get the wrong idea. Cut from Newcastle College, right into Curtis Park, right. Cut through the campus, the camera to death. At one time, it wasn't camera, there was no cameras, so it was a good way of getting in and out the tune. At one time, but not now. Got get in and out the tune unseen, they bother. No, it's virtually, it's not impossible. You just, to start behaving like that and to get, to get, you know, you have to learn how to blend. 
that's what you have to do. You have to blend. Me, I stick with like a sore thumb though, everywhere I go. Yes. Yes, Newcastle College. So we're going to cut through the campus. That is a Doniel runcher. Security come out a bit. It's a college campus in it, so. So you kind of stop and build a joint, build a smoke and stuff and that. Ah, yeah, come here. When I first got out of prison. I've done a course at this college. I've done a course. Test and inspection. Electrical test and inspection course. Hard, hard course it was. Oh, aye. Aye. One of the comments in. Somebody commented in the comments on one of my videos. It was the one with you hoagie and someone from me past. Aye. It was a good comment and I do remember. I do remember the solar panels. And I do. I do remember the hostel. Aye. We've done alright. <laughs> I'm glad you're all right, well, kid. It was a... Uh, I seen you, I gotta see you, right? Cause I know, cause I've only like, see you like pop up every 10 years or something. Right? Keep you totally anonymous. But you know who I'm talking about. Right, when I asked about you, I asked a couple of people about you and they told us you were dead. I, the tool is you had died, and I was proper gutted, mate. Proper gutted. And then a few years ago, right, I seen you, and I was in total shock. And I was so buzzing that you were all right. We didn't see an out. We didn't speak, because I don't think you clocked us. But, I, I'm buzzing you commented, mate. And it's best, yes. It is bliss being anonymous. <laughs> yes. So there's the flats. And it could have bought what was a smart, strong smell of cannabis that was. Aye. I see we're heading into the West End now. This is the West End. That's the estate where everybody grew up. Everybody grew up there. That's 
where all the villains in the West End grow up. Oh, well, yeah. These houses, yeah. This is the head. Aye. Oh, well, not all the villains, but can't if you're with the naughty ones. You know? Uh, yeah. Or carry on up and on that. I see you can't see it properly. Loads of madness happened in this area back in the day, you know. Give birth with an organised crime in Newcastle. Just this little part. Well, in the West End of Newcastle, in any case. This is where I'll store for a lot of people. On these estates, yeah. Still loads of the same people live here. Mm -hmm. Kids who I went to school with and everything live here. Brings back some, you know, memories. John Fraj, bless him. Uh, all right, yeah. So I had not bang into the middle of Critters Park, yeah. Well, Critters Park and then into Elzig. <laughs> People keep funny looks when you walk about the camera. And they really do. Ah, oh, so these flats have got that cladding on. That grand fell cl cladding. So this is the graft as root. Good as bog flats. Yeah, and I lived in them. Yeah, and I was a gypsy. Romany gypsy. She could tell fortunes, that's what she done. When she was young and that. Bless her. Aye, I think she had 13 kids, brought them up, brought them all up, and then chilled out. We in bed and all well, the rest of her life, and she lived for a like, good old age as well. Good old age. Aye. I think she's seen a bit of my future, like, when I think about it now, and the stuff she used to say. 
Aye. Well, sometimes I think I'm a bit like that myself. You know? <laughs> I know. We've got the psychics in one family, we've got loads of mental health problems as well. Uh, but we've got the psychics as well. There's a few in my family. There's a few we think we're well, a bit like that, like. Aye. But I love it. Aye. Be great, Nana. Bless her. Bless her. Whew. I just got a funny feeling that someone was walking behind us there. Stop for a drink and a cup of coffee soon. So I'm sure I can find somewhere in the West End. And I'm gonna need some water. I'm not running yet, but I'll need to buy some more water. Ah, I used to go to school here. Yeah. I went to that nursery. That's a nursery there. I went to that nursery. I can only just remember going in there. Right. And then I went over the road to my pavilion. Just a while here. It's a car garage now. It's an Audi garage. Council sold it off to the to the capitalists. I think that's social housing though. Because there's a big block of flats there. So, uh, aye. Aye, I've got to be in my bonnet about certain social things around you. You know, and how the, the council have neglected the area. Neglected the working class people who live here. For many years. We just don't want to get the housing up and gone. Come on. It's took them 30 years to build this. This all this, these houses just yeah. They knocked them all down Westmoreland Road. Westmore Westmoreland Walk and all that. <coughs> It was a complete concrete jungle, crime jungle. That's what was there. Complete concrete crime jungle. But I remember years ago, the first burglary I ever done was I burgled me out of Evelyn School. Me, John O'Rogers, and uh, John Fragley. Yeah. We told Miss Thompson's lollies. A big box of, a big, a big, big box of lollies that she had. I sat and watched her. Right the way through all that school. Right, right up until I left. I never once got one of them lollies. <laughs> Aye, I never once got one of them lollies. I'd sit there every day on assembly and watch a lollies getting given out and I'd never get one. More time there. Yeah. So it was like, that's not the reason why I burgled it, mind you. No. I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm gonna chew all the lollies. No. John O was owler. 
he was like much older than us. And he had left the school, he had he was left the school two, two years or something. And uh, he was burgling the school and he got me and John involved. He shared the lollies with us. <laughs> all right. Kids, man. So all the kids were like run, Jack. This whole area was a crime estate. All right. This whole area was a crime, big, huge crime estate. That stretched all the way along Scotchwood Road. All the way along. All the way along Scotchwood Road. So you were taking Rye Hill, Elz Quiris Park, Elzik, Old Benwell, New Benwell, Pendawa, Scotchy. That was it. That was one of the crime estates. But I, I'll take a walk through during the day through that estate. Where all the, where there was like quite a few crime families grow up there as kids together. Yeah. You can't talk about them because you get yourself in trouble, didn't you? Yeah. And that's not what my channel's about. Right, I'll bring you back. So here I am, folks. This is my old crime estate. My old estate, proper. It's all right now. I was back there, tell you the truth. Let's walk through the car park. Let the light hit the trees. I loved this estate, I really did love this estate. It was great growing up on here. They've been having a fire. Let me know. Let's walk up to my car park. I've got to see a back of my day, it was more of a concrete jungle. They've redone all the paths and all the car parks and all that. Redesigned them and all that, but, uh, you know, it's my use there. Uh, some memories in that house. So I thought I'd just show me face. Not that anyone cares, that is. The different places, West End, no. Dickman generation. Yeah, we are the West End, the heart of the West End. Aye, oh, it's still a mad old place. Ah, oh, but I suppose. Change is good, eh? It's just what kind of change. Uh, 
<lacht> so, Kosti. <laughs> so I think now I might have a walk up the West End, see up the, up the, up the West Road. Still early, as does still open. Traffic lights are broke. No Bamwell. Ah, seems to be still busy, busy, busy. Oh, I've got to sit down. Too much wagon. Too much wagon. Oh, what can I say? It's got us done in. Aye. I'll know the motor. Yeah, Ben will. There's no left, really. Apart from the buildings. Aye. But I still love the place, you know what I mean? I still love them. You can't have gone wrong. Suppose if I never left, I wouldn't know any different, would I? I would have just adapted. You know what I mean? But it has had a large, large... Uh, Injection, shall we say, of uh, immigration in Rong and all that, you know. Yeah, really has. Really, really has. To the point where a lot of people around you do say that, it, that it, it's affected the quality of life around you, that it hasn't improved. Keep going, buddy, please. <laughs> Aye. One thing about walking on jar, depending on the time of night, I mean, at this time, it's now really, right? But, 
you start getting on the early hours in the morning, hanging about and all that. It's when you start seeing loads of crap going on on the streets. But I, I think I might have a walk up that west, up that west road. It's a big hill to go up. Aye. I just let the people pass. I so I could get a lift. I could get a lift into the tomb, back into the tomb. Or I can take home but take full circle, you know. Them navvies can remember off one of my last videos. You know that eh yeah, I was stood here about ages, wasn't I? So when you walk up here, up these streets up here, honestly, it just got worse. Pure poverty up them streets, up this road, yeah. Pure poverty. And it's gotten out with the way. This is a personal issue I'm talking about, yeah, mind you. And that's that. Not with do any of the drama on YouTube and all that. No. It's a personal issue, this. I don't want it here. Be Raj. But I'm working along here. I'm not going up that west road, it's too much for us. Well, I'm going to walk along to the tune. Hey. And then get a lift. Well, I can get them to pick us up, yeah, but I didn't fancy it. I still fancy staying out a bit longer. I fancy having another look around the tune. Called a different time now to have a look around. I mean, there's more drunkards about, you know. Have I come in from a different angle this time? I don't know. Just walk up Killian Street again. Anyhow, I'll bring you back causing me battery. Yes, people, I'm back. I'm back in the town. Doing it the, the bridge, the railway bridge. See that lassie there? She just grasped on her pal there. Eh? Them two busies there. Eh? Oh, can I, I think they're gonna arrest this lassie with a taunt me around that corner. I hope they didn't, like. She's just a drunken lass. Yeah. But in any case, let's go and have a look at run John, and see, see if there's any homeless. I've seen some people hanging about doing there, but they didn't look homeless to me. There, look. Oh, look. They're nicking her. They're gonna nick her. 
hedder Paris Falme af Kolderfuren og Den er nok lækse, når man har hos jeg filme, filme net og nort. Både ej. Der kan han ikke gøre. Prøv at lade sig. Der kan han lukke og håbe ikke. Yes. Jeg tror ikke, der kan han arrestere. Nå. Back at the bridge hotel. The bridge hotel. I quite like today sitting at this motel lake. Anyway, it's getting late, you know. This is where I want to go. So, it's about half past eleven at night now. I don't think there'll be anybody down here, like, I really don't. Be very surprised. I can smell cannabis, like, but not. Meant to be really haunted around Charlie. You know. He's can't even see out. Bloody rats. It's a bit of shell, I like, suppose. Those rats all over. Confetti. That's the thing, honestly, I didn't realise there was so many rats. Oh. It's quite a few, like. I wouldn't like to do any stealth camping, wouldn't you? It just wouldn't be nice. You can't see a thing though. I didn't bring the torch. Can you get it round? Ah, you can. This is the castle keep, and that's the castle. Oh, yeah. the castle keep. I should really look into this more. I really should. Aye, so I think the homeless will come down here. Yeah. About three falls in the morning. With an absolutely shattered 
and all the packings I want done with. And any graft that can get on the street. But yeah, we're back in the temple. We're back at the Saxon temple where the people are buried. We've got the bridge, the railway bridge. Hello, people. Well, I've been out in the boot and eat like and the deer. I've had a good day and a good night. So, I don't have the key, it's still out for going into Moot Hall, but I can't sit down at Moot Hall. Finish up these videos. Aye. It's all good though. Aye. The mic's still on. Just checking the mic there. Yes, I'm at the step, I'm at the step on the steps of Moot Hall. Many a people were sentenced to death, yeah, many. Aye, and sent to Australia. A lot, sent, a lot were sent to Australia from here. Let's get the stand up on this, I'm sick of holding it. Oh. So I've got a bit of time. I've got a bit of time and I can uh, finish up this vid. So what well, take close my car mine. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Aye. Beautiful call there. Eh? Oh, a million quid with that. But I eh uh, Mutal. I remember being in them dungeons and in there. And you can open into the tiny little courtroom, it's tiny. You're all in the middle of the courtroom and everybody's looking down at you. It's uh, it's surreal, it's not like today's courts. With the dock and all that, nah. It's not like the not like Newcastle Crown Court long eh? Aye. This was a serious court, this. Sent, sent people to, to their death at this court, they did. Had them shackled to the walls in the, in the dungeons downstairs. The one kind of you here. But aye. So I've been around the doors, the day and the night. I haven't really talked any, anything about politics. I did see some positive multiculturalism going on there. Right? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny that, right? I think that's a positive thing. I didn't uh, I didn't think that it was out wrong with it. With the people who were approaching us and stuff and that and they were all, and they were all uh, from different different backgrounds, different ethnic backgrounds in any case. Aye. But you're not a, you, you see, I, I, I don't know if you're allowed to come in here or not, but it's a hotel there. Eh? It's got an American flag up. Are you stopping in the hotel, sir? No. It's a private car park, you can't just sit there, you know. Well, aye. It's the, a private car park, you have to crown court. That's right, it's a public building, this. Well, <laughs> you 
He thinks I'm a homeless person. That's what he thinks. You know, I don't know what's bothering us. Sit, sat, yeah, I'm not filming now. I'm at the doors. I'm not in the car park. And that's a crown court, so it's still a crown court. Aye. He's just doing his job. So what was I going to talk about? Yes, Scotty J. So, uh, you've seen where he live, where he, where he was told to go and live. Right, it's rat infested, and I mean proper. Uh, so it's, that wasn't a good place for him. That, and there's not many places around the town where he could have stayed, where they wouldn't have been rats crawling all over him and all that. How terrible is that? Hmm. This bloke might come and give me a hard time. Because you see, there's some good cars here. Right? Like there's one I think worth an easy half a million quid. Maybe it's quarter of a million, but you know. Uh, so there'll be people staying in there that they're not want us to uh, film, you know, but I'm not. It's not a bad thing. What I'm doing, I'm saying it's a Crown Court, it's a public, public place, a court, isn't it? It's not a... Got right there, entry there. I'm only filming myself at these doors and I'll be gone in five minutes, mate. I won't bother anybody out like that, I promise. I'm not, I'm not looking to cause problems. All right, I'll be gone in five minutes if that's OK. <coughs> so, I'm going to have a good, good think about what I might do with my next video. I've got two there that I need to finish off in any case. Right, which are about uh, compensation for prisoners, right, and the death penalty. So, yes, <laughs> it would have been good, right? I think I will come back down here to do my death penalty one, right? Because uh, it is quite fitting. I'll, 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 I'll talk about the, the death penalty here. Uh, so, and because there's a few people on the left, on the right, sorry, there's a few people on the right who are on YouTube giving it what for, all the day with reform and all that business and that, and they'll be there, you know, about the talking about the death penalty and stuff like that, you know, and how they're in favour of it and stuff. So, I thought I would. Rip one of the videos apart and uh, have a have a little f talk about it and what have you and that. Give my opinion about stuff. But it is what it is, isn't it? Aye. Uh, so yeah, this is the crown court. <laughs> this is a crown court. You see us? Aye. Uh, can you see it? It's a beautiful building. Really is. Really is a beautiful building, like. I bet you cost a pretty penny to uh, stop my to hotel over there. This place, man. We've got the castle just there, the castle keep, the crown court. Hmm. 
<laughs> Just thinking about that bloke telling us this was a crown court. Mm. It's a bit mad, isn't it? So, in any case, folks, right, I'm getting tired now. I'm going to have to start making my way home. I might do a part two to this, where I hang about the town right away through the night. But I kind of have to be a little bit more prepared, uh, because it's starting to get cold on the night time. So I have to make sure I'm warm and I can stay warm all night. Aye. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like the video. It helps, it helps the algorithm. So let people, it puts it, tells the algorithm to put my video out there. So please like my video. You know, uh, I hope you are all day in our care. And thank you for all, to all my new subscribers and my old ones uh, who've been with us right from the start. So just stay, stay safe. And I'll see you next time.